Ladies and gentlemen, live from Miller Auditorium, Kalamazoo Public Schools present the Phoenix High School Graduation Ceremony.
Good evening, good evening, good evening, and good evening. My name is Mark Hill. I stand before you this evening to formally welcome you to the 2023 Phoenix High School commencement exercise. Let's give it up for our graduates. Let us pause and welcome to the stage KPS employee and friend of Phoenix family, Aisha Banks, who will present us the Star Spangled Banner. Following the Star Spangled Banner, we will remain standing and hear a video, via video, Lift Every Voice and Sing, performed by Javier Hill Roller, a KPS graduate. You may stand for both anthems if you desire. Aisha. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wait for the last Please remain standing. Ooh. Lift every voice and sing till earth in heaven ring. Ring with the harmony of a Our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies Let it resound loud as the rolling sea Loud as the rolling sea Sing a song Full of the faith that dark past has taught us And sing a song Full of the hope that the present has brought us Facing the rising sun of our new day let us march on until victory Let us march on until victory Let us, let us march on till victory is won
Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Interim Superintendent of Kalamazoo Public Schools, Ms. Cindy Green, Assistant Superintendents, Ms. Sheila Dorsey-Smith and Dr. Amy Vondra, as well as the Central Office Directors and Executive Directors for your continued support. I appreciate you for providing support to me, the faculty and staff, and the students of Phoenix High School. Wherever you are in the audio, auditorium, please stand, wave your hand, give a nod so that we can acknowledge you, please. Thank you to the Board of Education for your dedication of service to the children of this school district. I salute you at this time. Please stand and be recognized. I thank each and every one of the Phoenix High School teachers, instructional and support staff Please stand and be recognized and remain standing. Let's give it up for them. Okay, everybody calm down. You have to hear this. Your flexibility, steadfastness, allowed us to have the largest graduating class of 170 students in Phoenix High School history. Sorry, someone was able to see that we have outgrown Shinry Auditorium and we had to move to this place and we're going to almost outpack this if you look at all levels. Let's give our faculty and stand, uh, staff a hand. <laughs> Stay standing. You know, they do a lot of hard work behind closed doors and don't like getting acknowledged publicly, but I'm going to take advantage of the mic and share. It is extremely important to me to share publicly how impressed I am with your dedication to the children in this district, particularly Phoenix High School. You put in hours after school, you put in hours on Saturday to make sure our students have the every opportunity possible to pass classes and learn the information needed to pass the assessment. And you do this most of the time without submitting timesheets. Now, I respect the profession of education and believe you must be paid for your worth. And I really have to fight this staff to submit timesheets for the work that they do. And if I know they were doctors and other professions, they get paid for every minute. So we need to learn to respect the profession of education, and I do that by paying them what they're worth. Let's give it up. You all stand with me each day making a commitment that we will minimize the educational casualties that can happen in schools. I recognize your efforts and hope I did a great job regularly celebrating you throughout the school year. I honor you for trusting my leadership. Let's give it up for them again. <clears throat> Thank you parents, grandparents, guardians, and mentors who have worked with your students during his or her entire school history, particularly while they were with us at Phoenix High School. You pushed and we pulled. And when you got tired of pushing, we traded places. Because you know that your children are a handful to deal with this school year. <laughs> Nonetheless, they did what they needed to do. You did what you needed to do. We did what we needed to do to get them to this space. I applaud your efforts, parents, guardians, mentors, all that make up the village. If you are in that space, why don't you stand? Students, why don't we give them a hand? Let's go. Our community partners are relevant to our success. If I start calling out names, I know I will get in trouble, 
but it's those neighborhood associations, um, our city commissioners, the mayor, um, elected officials, realtors, they all make up our, our community. I'd just like to pause to take and acknowledge uh, county commissioners who submitted a letter on behalf of the county commissioner, particularly those three commissioners that represent where our students live. And that's County Commissioner Montes Morales, Tammy Ray, and Jennifer Strebs. They go over and beyond to make sure the children in their district who attend Phoenix High School are taken care of. Let's give all of our community partners a hand. Let's pause. Let's thank the wonderful donors of the Kalamazoo Promise. Because of you, our children, my children, my graduates of Phoenix High School have an opportunity to experience learning at the next level, experience career, technical, trade schools at the next level. I thank you on their behalf. Let's give it up for the donors of the Kalamazoo Promise. Ms. Gwen Evans, our teacher and colleague who has been serving as an educator in this district for 48 years. She will be retiring at the end of this school year. She was unfortunately in an auto accident a few months ago and it is best that she's not here tonight because if anyone knows Ms. Evans, she's going to be out there sh cheering, shouting, and holler back at the young people, and we don't want to take, we don't want her to harm herself. So let's take a moment. I'm sure she's watching. Let's give the loudest shout we can give for Ms. Gwen Evans for being with us for 48 years. Finally, to the graduating class of 2023. It was difficult for some of you. Some of you fought, argued, cried, even laughed your way through this school year. But let the record show that you represent the largest graduating, graduating class in the history of Phoenix High School. Your drive for academic achievement intrigued me. Amani Ford, are you, where are you? Come here real quick, come here. We challenged the students at the beginning of the school year because our pass-fail rate, meaning the number of classes that our students pass versus the number that they fail, wasn't where we wanted it to be. It was always around that 70, 75%. So we set three goals at, this, at the beginning of the school year. And I brought my student leaders in and we challenged them. And this young man here, Every other week, I'm like, the grades haven't been posted, man. Every other week, he's coming asking about the percentage. So, the first trimester, our goal was 75%. Okay? What was our goal? What did we achieve the first trimester? We achieved 80%? 82. 82. 82%. 82 we were only supposed to hit 75. Let me hear it for it. That was first try. Second try, our goal was 80. Now keep in mind, we surpassed that the first try with these young folk here. And then second try was supposed to be 80%. What, 87? 87%. The third try was supposed to be 85%. Now, he came asking me, what is the percent? Man, the grades haven't been posted yet. Give us a chance. But we had to reset the goal because we already passed 85 at the second with 87. So what's our goal for the third trimester? 
90. So hopefully we'll be announcing that you all have achieved that goal. Let's give it up for our graduates. Get out of here. Go. I know you hear it from me often, but I am proud of you. You will do well if you hold true to the lessons and experiences you have learned while attending Phoenix. Remember to be well-read, well-spoken, well-dressed, well-traveled, and well-rounded. I am grateful to be your principal. You are great, you are mighty, you are fiery, and still, we rise. Thank you. Now we'll have an opportunity to hear from student speakers, if you all will come. Our student speakers, please come. You will hear from our salutatorian, Muhammad Saeed, Saeed Ali. You will hear from Mariah Bushhouse Sterling. You will hear from Jamari Sims. You will hear from Naspa Mwambwele. You will hear from Conroy Robinson. In that order. Here you go. Yes, a lot of people think. Okay, here you go. That's you and all right. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And pray, my Lord, increase me in knowledge. To Principal Hill, Mrs. Green, Board of Education, Phoenix staff, and my classmate, the class of 2023. This is the first time I give such a speech, so I'll make it short, simple, and meaningful. I will start with thanksgiving. First, I'll thank God for all he has given to me. Without him, without him, I would not reach what I have accomplished today. I will thank my family, especially my mom. She's somewhere out here because she was the reason for my arrival for, to this place tonight. I also thank the KPS for this wonderful staff, such as Mr. Usama Abdelaziz, he's traveling in Egypt, he's not here, unfortunately. And my ESL teacher, Mr. Labuda, and our great principal, Mr. Hill. And I also thank Google, and especially Google Translate, because it's, <laughs> it helped me with the English language. It wasn't easy to graduate high school as a newcomer. I did half of my high school in Iraq, although I'm from Syria. I came to the US from Iraq. I, start, I started at Kalamazoo Central High School, then I moved to Phoenix. Everything was new. The city, the school, the community, the teachers, the students. Everything was new. All I brought with me was, were memories from the people back home my family, my friends, my schools, my language, and attitudes. I did not know how to speak English. I was like, me no English. <laughs> but with the help of my ESL teacher, Mr. Labuda, and my English teacher, Mr. Walker, I am able to stand before you tonight as a graduate of Phoenix High School. I now speak the English, the English language, which is my fourth language. I am also enrolled in the Korea Lunch Kalamazoo program, where I go to KVCC to get a older degree and I have a paid internship. From the first day, Mr. Buddha told me the best description of you in the English language is a scholar. From that day, I knew I will never stop seeking knowledge. 
With all the hardship that we might, we might appear in our lives, we are able to overcome them with the grace of God Almighty. We did it, and we will always get better. And still, we rise. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Hill, Superintendent, Mrs. Green, the Board of Education, graduating class of 2023, faculty, my friends, and families who supported your children to be here today. After 12 long years, kindergarten all the way to 12th grade, we made to this day today to receive our diplomas. I have to say, I am honestly impressed with everything our class has been through. We can't forget the nightmare year of online learning due to pandemic, but we did it. After countless hours of homework, projects, tests, and exams, we can finally say goodbye to high school and enjoy sleeping in on the weekdays, unless you work a morning shift. I am truly grateful that I made the decision to switch to Phoenix. If I didn't, I would not be standing here today, giving this speech, looking at all of you in our caps and gowns. There were times where I thought I would never see graduation. Some of you probably felt the same as I did at some point. You, you would push yourself so hard to the point of being exhausted and to still think you would not make it a graduation is so crushing. After meeting all the great teachers here, especially Mr. Walker, Mrs. Wilson Banks, Mr. Kaiser, and Ms. Evans, who impacted me the most, my eyes were open and I wanted to learn. I got along with all my teachers and having that kind of bond where we both respect each other makes learning a lot better. I learned so much more here at Phoenix than I did at my previous school, which is surprising. But I'm not surprised that there are so many of us here today. I'm proud of everyone and myself for graduating today. Phoenix isn't a school for bad kids or stupid kids. It's a great school for students who want to accomplish their goals and dreams. <laughs> I really like it here, and I'm kind of sad that I must leave. At least I'm prepared to go off into the real world knowing that I'm a Phoenix graduate. Let's do something with the knowledge that we learn here. I've always wanted to be in law enforcement. <laughs> And that dream has become a reality by being here at Phoenix. I have met the chief and a black female lieutenant who has scheduled me for a ride along during her shift. I do not believe that this relationship would have not happened so quickly if I was not here at Phoenix High School. Whether you have been here for the full four years or not, you are a Phoenix student wearing the green and white cap and gown. So enjoy this day because you earned it, we all have. And still, we rise. Oh, a snap that and got me up. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get straight to business, y'all. To Mr. Hill, Mrs. Green, Phoenix teachers, Phoenix staff members, the Board of Education, my beautiful mother, Patricia Moore, and the class of 2023. It's your boy, Mari, AKA Big 80, AKA Big Mari, and for the family, Moo Moo. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a hurry up so I can get, go ahead and sit down because my feet hurt already. So let's go ahead and make this sweet. School was sometimes hard and challenging for me, but it made me stronger, although my teachers from my elementary, middle school, and high school cared about me. It also taught me that all, adult, all adults are not supportive. It also taught me, hold on, my bad, let me read the script one more time. No, I'm sorry. Um, it also taught me that all teachers can't read signs either, that I need help, but it's okay though. So I love, not y'all, y'all did y'all job, not y'all. Okay. Um, like I was saying, when I, when I got to Phoenix, that was a change for my life. I hadn't seen so much love from a big school, so when I got to Phoenix, it was different, because we was just like family. 
When we get to Phoenix, y'all know how we get down. What's the mindset that we got? We gonna get to class, we gonna finish the class. We ain't gonna get caught going to more than one lunch. <laughs> and to top it off, I feel like we done did it cause you know, we the big dogs now, we got the best class. We beat last year's class, shout out to them though. You feel me? From the open houses to, oop, my bad. From the open house to the HBCU fair, we, love, we learned how to love our home that we call Phoenix High. My highlight of the year was winning the 2023 Regional Championship basketball team. Shout out to them, first time in school history. One more time, bub. 2023 Regional Championship, you feel me? Yeah. I can go on, but you know, we're gonna be here all night, brother. So let me hurry up. You know, I feel like boss man looking at me. Let me hurry up. Okay. To the Phoenix staff. Oh, y'all looking at me now, huh? No, to the Phoenix staff, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for not giving up on me. And thank you for preparing me to be the best man in life that I can be. And yes, I said prepared. Cause see here at Phoenix, we just not here to go to class. We here to make a change in our communities, in our life. So give a round of applause to yourself, class. When I got to Phoenix, I was at my lowest point. Yeah, y'all, yeah, I was at my lowest. I ain't gonna lie, I was at my lowest. But when I entered those doors, I got so much love and it showed me that I can beat any battle and I can rise from any situation. I just told y'all a million times how much love I didn't got. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little off script. But when I tell you, you get into them doors, it's not what the press talks about. We not a bad school. We all got our situations, but we not a bad school. From the love, to the hugs, to the cool handshakes, to all the achievements. I'm sorry, I'm a little shaky up here. I'm sorry, let me calm down right quick. But from the love to the cool handshakes, it showed me that I can do anything and I can work on my craft anywhere. Cause y'all know, who y'all gonna call for the pictures though? All right, all right. That's just one thing, but to top it off, last year when I got to Phoenix, I became, no, I ain't gonna start rapping. I ain't gonna start rapping, not right now, not right now. Oh, I got y'all then. Okay, slow down. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up now. <laughs> all right, all right. To finish it off, I'd like to say thank you to Phoenix. Thank you. Thank you for being a role model. Thank you for teaching me how to be a learner again. I ain't no more low points in my life. But like Mr. Hill say, and again, and still we rise. To Mr. Hills, Inter Superintendents, Mrs. Green, the Board of Education, Phoenix staff, parents, friends, and my graduate class of 2023. In my language, Asante means thank you. Asante to our supportive principal, Asante to our teachers and staff, Asante to our parents and family, Asante to our friends and everyone who makes up our school community. Habari or good evening to everyone. 
You all have helped us shape into people you see today. And I can say in total confidence that without you, we wouldn't become very different. We, have, we had some of our best teachers who truly cared about us. And taught us with passion, they gave us everything they had in hopes of modeling and great con contributing, contributing in society. My fellow graduates, I haven't known you for that long, but I realized that when we enroll in Phoenix, the atmosphere makes us feel like we have known each other for a lifetime. I know that each and everyone has something very special you all, special. You all are creative, smart in many ways. So let's make a promise to each other that no matter what, we will never doubt ourselves. Let me tell you, a, let me tell you about a quick story, a little, let me tell, sorry. Let me tell you a quick story about a little girl from Tanzania who traveled to a known place in the United States. She could not speak English, so when other kids bullied her, she could not defend herself verbally. She could not, she could not even tell other adults that she was being bullied because they thought she was crying for no reason. This little girl from Tanzania went to another school and then COVID happened. Everyone had to get computer or Chromebook. This little girl asked, what is a Chromebook? She has never used a Chromebook before in her lifetime. So, of course, she failed all her classes. Finally, this young girl from Tanzania con continued to experience a horrible lifetime in, in the United States. She tried to manage her schoolwork, home life, and being bullied and being talked about. She was lost, depressed, and wanted to be left alone. I didn't have the skills to help her, so she continued to struggle every day. Then finally, something happened. She heard her friend in Kalamazoo Central named T. Asia, who told her about Phoenix High School. I'm sure, I am sure by now you have figured out I am the little girl who became a young lady from Tanzania. Once I arrived at Phoenix, it seems like, uh, like it, it, sorry. Once I arrived at Phoenix, it seems like I was in another country. I met, I met great friends who gave me support. There were others who helped me with my English. The staff like Mrs. Ellis, Mrs. Yolanda, Mr. Buchanan, and Mrs. Lang, who, let, who would let me get to school and even pick me up when the bus was canceled. When my home caught on fire, I didn't have a place to stay. My Phoenix family helped, me, helped take care of me. When somebody, when someone told me that I, couldn't, I could not be in the ESL or new, the newcomers program because my, my English, hold on. When someone told me that I could not be in the ESL or newcomers program because my skills were too high, I was able to learn English and succeed by attending classes at Phoenix without being bullied. Going to Phoenix gave me confidence and I will not be bullied ever again. <laughs> Going to Phoenix showed me how to work hard and being successful when things don't go your way. Phoenix accepted me for who I am and gave me confidence that my family knew I always had. Phoenix accepted me for who I am. It seemed like 
the students were busy trying learning, they had no time to bother me. The teachers, Mrs. Wilson Banks, Mr. Kaiser, Mr. Cato, Mr. O'Haran, and also Mr. Labuter, helped me to be a great student. I was able to do well in my health science program. Now I have my first aid and CPR certification. Mrs. Allison, Mrs. Allison, Mrs. Yolanda, thank you for your support. You were my favorites. <laughs> to my classmates, I know all of us went through so much in the past, but never give up. I consider myself lucky to meet you. Sorry, I consider myself like I consider myself likely to have you meet you at Phoenix to be a part of strong bond that we have created. Alan out, out said, laugh at yourself, but do not ever aim your, your doubt at yourself. I am continuing on seeing you conquer in life, in your own fantastic ways. Standing here today after going through my life challenges and experience my seniors, I am filled with joy and excite excitement to venture into this world. I feel good about starting this new chapter and offer all that I have learned along the way. I am very honored to, I am very honored to have been given this opportunity to present my story. The, to you this evening, sorry. Well, it's crazy. We're finally graduating, and still, we rise. And our last student speaker, Conroy Robinson. AKA Ashka. Good evening to Mr. Hill, Superintendent Mrs. Green, the Board of Education. Phoenix teachers, Phoenix staff, family, friends, and graduating classmates. I would first love to thank the Lord for giving me the gift of life so that I can stand here and say, I am a proud graduate and senior at Phoenix High School. <laughs> Secondly, as a Jamaican, <laughs> I would like to thank the greatest principal I have ever met, Mr. Hill. Give it up for him. <laughs> I also want to thank the teachers and staff. They have been so great to us, trust me. But in Jamaican words, we would say, thanks for everything, which means thank you from the bottom of my heart. As the wind blows by, I remember my journey. As the trees sing with the bees, I went towards my destiny. <laughs> so what if the ocean gets rocky, guys? Our sailors stand strong, for there's a rest to be. If I should say, the Phoenix High School family have been a great support to me and my fellow schoolmates. <laughs> they have supported us in every situation you could think of. From the principal's office, secretary's office, counselor's office, college counselor's office, classrooms of our daily teachers, the cafeteria, and the gym. Thank you for not only being our family, but our heroes. We salute. Mm -hmm. 
that everything is passing me by every now and then it feels like my ship has gone and sailed away but I I gotta be strong gotta hold on it won't be too long now the tide is coming me I see the waves flowing out there on the ocean I know my ship is coming in just past the horizon and right where the sky ends cause out there on the ocean I know my ship is coming in So don't leave me hanging I've been waiting too long For this moment My ship has finally come But as the time goes by, graduating class of 2023, Phoenix High School, from this day forth, let us all remember the journey to this path and the memories we have created. Beyond the sky is the limit, and deep within the ocean, there is depths undiscovered. Be strong, stay focused, and be positive. And still, we rise. Let's give them all a great round of applause. We're getting close to the point we've all been waiting for. Interim Superintendent Cindy Green, Board of Education, family, friends, and the greater Kalamazoo community. It is my pleasure to officially present the graduating class of 2023. I do solemnly attest and confirm that the students receiving their diplomas today have completed all requirements for graduation set forth by the state of Michigan and Kalamazoo Public Schools. As principal of Phoenix High School and on behalf of the faculty and staff of this fine institution, I recommend the following candidates to receive their diploma. The next voice you hear will be from our interim superintendent, Cindy Green. Congratulations, Phoenix Fury, class of 2023. Graduation is a special life event that you have achieved through working hard and encouraging each other. Students, as you experience tonight, let's give your parents, family members, educators, and others who've helped you the last 18 years a round of applause. We also wish to thank President Tiana Harrison, Board Trustees Jackson, Moore, Maddock, Schaller Barber, Hill, and Murphy. Thank you for your leadership in the district. It takes a team to deliver services. 
I also wish to thank Assistant Superintendents Vandra and Dorsey Smith, CFO Kayser, Executive Di Directors Coney and Sledge, and Directors Saunders and McCain. And a special thank you to Principal Hill and your outstanding team. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> to Phoenix students, thank you very, very much for being so studious, even if it meant two hours ago, to get through tough times. You started high school as a freshman, ready to experience high school, and then all of a sudden, March 13th hit. For the rest of that school year and the next, you did a fast pace of learning virtually. And like you said, you had to learn what a Chromebook was. But you picked up the Chromebooks and you went to work. And the last two years, you have concentrated hard to graduate. This past year, you have done amazing things. You have set goals and targets like I've never seen before, so that all of you reach this goal. You have helped others with your smiles, your laugh, as well as your tears. In addition, you've given us this awesome basketball team that brought a community together like no other with district and regional championship games. Students, you have no idea how many people were at your games and encouraging you. There's an old guard in Kalamazoo and an old guard in Battle Creek, and they came together to watch you. You did a fabulous job at your HBCU night with a strong turnout. You participated in the Cesar Chavez March and the Kalamazoo Promise Signing Day. In addition, you have learned leadership skills. These leadership skills will guide you throughout your life. I wish to personally thank the student ambassadors for meeting monthly to assist me. We do not do this alone. We need to hear your voice. And we are so fortunate to be a part of the Kalamazoo Public Schools where we can have so many different experiences. As you have learned so much, you enter the world of adulthood where we hope you will continue your education. Students, please raise your hand if you plan to use the Kalamazoo Promise with post-secondary education. Raise your hands. Now we have a new one this year. Let's turn to our parents. Parents, if you received the Kalamazoo Promise, will you please raise your hands? We wish to thank the donors of the Kalamazoo Promise with a round of applause. Students, you are a part of this amazing gift that we hope you will use. Your class now enters over 8,000 students using the promise in the 18th year of this awesome gift. Many years ago, I graduated from high school and one of my teachers explained the Phoenix bird, and it is an honor to do that again tonight. The Phoenix is an immortal bird associated with Egyptian, Persian, and Greek mythology that represents immortality, resurrection, and life after death. It is represented with many different aspects, including the bird, fire, hope, rebirth, and transformation. You are on a journey of hope and rebirth for which you continue in adulthood. Phoenix Fury, you're amazing and vital to our future, and still we rise.
Now, by the power vested in me through the state of Michigan and the Kalamazoo Board of Education, Mr. Hill, we are ready and our students have met the requirements for the high school diploma and considered graduated. Johnny Mata Juarez. Johnny Mata Juarez. Jillian Vestal. Miguel Angel Calderon. Tanasia Lachey Booker Graham. Jamarion Maurice Gibson. Australia Johnson Woodruff. Kahari Hinton. Alea Isabel Guzman. Dakota Ray. Talia Jacqueline Cruz. Kyron Tishon Hinton. Samantha Moreno Aguilar. <laughs> Benjamin Michael Lavario. Adriana Aslins. Julius Davis. Samantha Trejo. Jaquith Kimarius White. Kayla Loris Valor.
Treshawn Francisco Dorch. Amaya Maishe Gibbs. Jazaria Alana Dion Alexander. Jasmine Marie Anderson. Noah Houston Miller. Tyra Jane Corsi. Vontavion Jackson. Talia Brane Corson. Kiwan Jaquar Atlas. Jordan Suggs. Jeremiah Reese Davison. Demiah Hannah Robson. Kamora Lee Hill. Tiaja Coleman. Aaron Marquise Essex. Nafsa Athumani. Oronde Kari Hawkins Jr. Terriana Duckett. My turn. Jamari Treshawn Sims. Juliana Nicole Estes. John DeVore. Courtney Marie Bates. Marquavion Willis. Jaden Kaylin Price. Makai Mosley. Miracle Sabrina Jean Williams. Dequavion Armand Edmondson. Anaya Naye Cummings. Cavante Rios. Desiree Myre White. <laughs> Jordan Weathersby. Mariah Bushhouse Sterling. Kai 
Hegwood. Asiana Brown. Dontrell Marquise Coleman. Marie Dunn. I don't want to be seen until you call me. Cameron Lewis Atkins. <laughs> Shariah Monique Ford. Jaimir Jaquay Wilkins. Antea Tanya Summers. Tarquise Arnez Morris. Avian Jewel Whitfield. Wait, wait, Imani. Imani Nicole Boyd. Christopher James Gardner. Madeline Lee Wright. Elijah Kubuyana. Susan Viegas. Amani Lamont Ford. Isabel Angel Smith. <laughs> Raphael David Thrash. Shania Lachey Crawford. Jalen Montrell Jones. Kaylee Rose Gordon. Roy Thomas. Kennedy Simone Basil. Shannon Woodard. Brianna Simmons. Andrew Robert Buchanan. Danielle Lanise Johnson. Oliver Boudry. Melissa Marie Leslie. Yeah. Shanti Tiana Hayes.
Renaya Matthews. Carver Fernandez. Mariah Monique Coleman. Jerome Mac G. Williams. Eviana Anise Marie Whitmore. Jesse Quavion Lopez. Harmony Corday. Devin Lishan Knight. Hannah Victoria Gonzalez. Xavier Mackay Hegler. Anisha Unique Hughes. Ezariah Javal Stratton. Essence Shanae Rostick. Tracy Lynn Fuller. Corey Leah Kishanda Hickman. Jaquante Labar. Elizabeth Juarez. Zachariah Eugene White. Gracia Sandoval Ramirez. Jamal Rodney Williams. Alaria Monier Matthews. Jeremy Lamar Ford. <laughs> Celio Toloso Juarez. Natavius Claudel Perry. Derricka Lewis. <laughs> Vladimir Christian Garces. Carlotta Natalie Gomez. Terrence Keyshawn Burton the second. Amaria Noel Patterson.
Brian Mendez. Jayla Nicole Henry. Carlos Ramses Ramirez. Rashanti Jackson Whitfield. Wait. Treshawn Richard Lee Allen. Santana Ashantis Isabel Tucker. Adam Miguel Pais. Kanaya Danae Green Little. Richard Rogers. Lachey Renee Jones. Leelan Darnell Ligon. Kanaya Nicole Coleman. Luke Daniel Courtney. Amaya Monet Maldonado. Casey Foreman. Lauren Marie Conley. Deshaun Linnell Bennett. Kaylee Wright. Tyler DiLorenzo. Amari Latrice Casey. Ernesto Salas. Terriel Morris. Tyson Calicut. Latoria Washington. Melvin Trinell Slater. Kanaya Cheyenne Brown. Drew Ira Hosner. Tamaya Eliza Johnson. Conroy Robinson. Blanca Elizabeth Sanchez. Katravion Dwayne Davis. Rosario Celeste Monterio.
Tavion Jaquel Wallace. Caleb Dwight Macon. LeVar Terry Harris Jr. Kamani Isaiah Steele. Nation Bell. Gabrielle Graham. Vince Scarce. James Battle. Abdullah Hassan Saeed Dali. Mohammed Saeed Saeed Ali. Ellie Idola Labanza. Give it up for the graduating class of 2023. Okay, graduates, you may be seated. All right, we have just a couple more, couple more activities. We'll be out of here in a short time. I just want to share with families and friends, after the graduates uh, uh, recess, uh, and graduates, you'll come back this way to go outside. They'll meet you at the fountain area. That's where you will be able to meet your graduates, okay? Now we'll have the video presentation.
My trunk won't be still, I'ma play the music loud as the music can You don't like the way I'm riding, catch your Uber then Yeah, let's go I feel like it's me in 06 and 07, 08, and even 09 Still hard to kill, the last try Go ask him, he didn't survive I was sending the county, the n****s I printed and helped They ain't send me a dime Didn't be kept, the way I was trapping Went platinum before I was signed Geeked up, I stayed out of my mind Still was ahead of my time And I was the man in the middle But made so much profit, you thought it was mine And everything top of the line, ain't nothing Ain't change, I'm still in my prime. I make it look easy to some copy cash. They'll do whatever to shine. It's the 06 Gucci man. My lip going up a pill. Walk around like a superman. Somebody calm him down, he about to shoot the man. It's the 06 Gucci man. My trunk won't be still. I'ma play the music loud as the music can. You don't like the way I'm riding, catch your Uber then. Yeah, let's go. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Pistol whip your man. She eat the dick with both her hands. Pulling up walk, I'm trying to stand. Clap at the ox like I'm a fan. I got a dub for my advance. Hit for a hundred on more than now. Long little shotty low, trying to man. Home invasion, we trying to go loop some. Put his face on the stove, thought he knew some. You a stepper, then go put your boots on. He get hit with the care if he move wrong. G block, y'all trapped in the school zone. You know I'm the wrong, the snooze on. Half a ticket on a Rolex Blue Stone. Reach for a face shot, cut the news on. It's the 06 Gucci man. My lip going up a pill, walk around like a superman Somebody calm him down, he about to shoot the man It's that 06 Gucci man My trunk won't be still, I'ma play the music loud as the music can You don't like the way I'm riding, catch your Uber then Yeah, let's go Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Ha! Sixty hundred block. I just wanna rock. I just wanna. I just wanna rock. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Hit it once, no time. Side up, you gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides, and you better choose wisely. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, four, five, five. That's my heart. One, two. Whoa. This ain't what you want. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. First and foremost, I'm gonna go a little off script to all the moms, aunties, aunties, grannies. Give it up for your babies, man. They work so hard to get to this point. To the class of 2023, man, you guys are unique and very, very unique class. I'm a little jealous of y'all, yeah. A little fun, man. Give it up for yourselves as well, man. I know. Greetings, Phoenix. I am Traquan Hayes, a student at Coppin State University, which is an HBCU in Baltimore, Maryland, where I maintain a 3.2 GPA with a major in elementary education. I am also a 2019 graduate of the Phoenix High School. I hold the title of the first valedictorian in the school's history. I just want to say congratulations to our graduates. Today is a great day. It's a day to celebrate with your families and friends, a day you've been waiting for since you entered kindergarten. 
Statistics show that your high school diploma is your passport to higher earnings and protections against economic, tough economic times. It's not a guarantee, but it's a always a be a help. At Coppin State University, I reign as the 22nd Mr. Coppin State University. It is my responsibility to be an ambassador for the college. Mr. Coppin State is voted by the entire student body to represent the college, such as ambassadors represent Phoenix. In my role as Mr. Coppin State, I receive a free room and board. That means I get to live and eat for free on campus. I get a clothing allowance because I must attend many business meetings with my school president, Dr. Anthony L. Jenkins. Shout out to you. I also have the influence to recommend scholarships. Yes, I gave away a few 3,000 and 7,000 scholarships at the 2023 Phoenix HBCU Fair. Yeah. I share this information with you not to be boastful, but to let you know that it pays to get an education and treat people with respect and dignity. It, was all, it all started here in KPS at the Phoenix High School. Finally, as a camp campus leader, it is important for me to use my voice and the microphone to push my platform. The first is education. The second is anti-violence. We need more black men in the classroom teaching children. I am making the appeal. <laughs> I am making an appeal to any of you who are unsure of a career and want to make a change to go into education. We need more of us in the profession. Secondly, Kalamazoo, the Kalamazoo community, um, my home, we need to do better. I graduated five years ago in 2019, and I hate to see me continue to have to get on social media and see someone that looks just like me or someone that I knew, which was murdered in the streets to gun violence. It's not cool, I am against it, and you need to stop. It's risking too many lives. We have too many young people right here. It's new lives that need to be brought up. There are new generations coming. But, oh, thank you. And again, to the class of 2023, man, y'all so cool. Look up to y'all, man. District champs, regional champs. Y'all are very unique. Hold on, one more time. Regional champs, one more time for those guys. You guys are a very unique class. I see many doctors, nurses, teachers. I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying? Clothing artists, shout out to you, Monty. But I am proud of this class. I've gained somewhat of a relationship with you all. You can always reach out to me. We've done the chant together, the copy chant. Y'all do it with me one more time before I leave. Or y'all leave? Yeah. I gang. Blah, blah, blah. But most importantly, I am proud of you all. Please do not let this be the last time you speak to your classmates, your staff, and community. Because they are the reason you still rise. And still, we rise. Raekwon Hayes, let's give it up for him. Our final, you ready, you ready graduates? Carlotta Gomez get to lead you in the tassel, turno, tassel turning ceremony. Let's give it to her as she come. And remember graduates, after you turn the tassels, you get to make your last Step on the stage, you'll come up single file and wave to your teachers goodbye. Go out the back and your families will be at the fountain waiting on you. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Okay guys, greetings, Mr. Hill. Interim Superintendent, Ms. Green, 
Phoenix faculty and staff, the Board of Education, parents, friends, and of course, the class of 2023. My name is Carlota Gomez. This is my second year attending Phoenix High School. I would like to thank my mother, Christina, for supporting me along my education journey. It is an honor to lead the class of 2023 in the tassel turning ceremony. The turning of the tassel is used to show a person's transition from a high school from a student to graduate. At the high school level, the tassel is worn on the right side of the cap during the ceremony and is moved to the left once the diplomas are received. Phoenix tassels on the cap are the school colors, forest green and white. The tradition of turning the tassel at Phoenix High School is done by an announcement made by student leaders after everyone has received their diploma. Will all my classmates please stand with me and please, Mr. Hill, join me. Oh my. I know, okay, okay. What? Are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> Two. 